That doesn't look right. Found it. So right now I'm going through all of our cornfields with this liquid fertilizer applicator. I'm putting on nitrogen uh, 28. It's liquid nitrogen fertilizer, 28% nitrogen. So I'm going around all our fields. I'm going to wrap them is what I call it. Uh, basically square all the edges up. Uh, any odd curves or anything because we actually put most of our nitrogen on after the corn is up and growing maybe it's like a foot tall a little smaller a little bigger depending on you know weather when we can get started all that kind of thing so why do we do this ahead we since we put it all on when the corn is up and growing that gets kind of difficult. I got a 60 foot planter. I've got a 60 foot side dress applicator. Side dress is what we, we do after the corn is up and growing and feed it nitrogen. There's places that bar we have, I can't get around telephone poles without wiping out corn, um, certain curves. I can't get deep in corners because unlike this liquid applicator, which I'm using for the first time, barring from another farmer, I'm liking quite a bit. Unlike that, I've got the applicator and then I've got a wagon with my fertilizer behind it, uh, anhydrous ammonia. I can't back up very well a lot of times because that I'm steering two things behind me and one of them's got a steerable tongue, makes things kind of difficult. Go around, square everything up, get point rows, and uh, point rows like where the edge of the field where I've got less than a planter width left. So when I come back inside dress, everything will be straight, match my 60 foot wide. Everything will work really nice. It'll all be really easy to do. I basically got all the hard work done ahead of time. I got a little curve here where I got to grab the wheel. Sometimes driving is better than GPS in certain situations. So this is one of our squarest fields, the East 80 here. This one's pretty simple. I went down along the road on the south end, didn't really do the north end or the west side because those are nice and straight. I'm not going to have any problem side dressing those. I got a little kick in that upper left hand corner around those trees I do and I know I always have point rows on the east side so I kind of fill those in. Those are good to go. Now I can look at maybe like a little more complicated field. Let's go to Collins. This is our, our biggest field, it's kind of a horseshoe shape. So you can see on the north end, I pretty much went around that horseshoe there. And actually that upper right hand area around the house and kind of the pasture there. And it's 75 acres. That all has manure from this hog barn over here. So I just had to go around the outside where the drag line doesn't quite get the turns. You can see here, I go around a couple of tile inlets there that I won't be able to do later once the corn is up. And this big area is a test plot. And that all needs to be done ahead because they don't want me side dressing out there. Let's look at one more field. Let's go to, oh, this is kind of a funny shaped one too, Tam. And I went along the ditch there on the right hand side because that's all kind of curvy and around the woods and anything one pass along the road on the south because there's a tile in it there I got to drive around and that corner down in the bottom left right here that is all just kind of really short rows I'd probably tear out more corn than I fertilize if I go and do that at side dress so that's what I was doing just kind of squaring things up making my life easier for later this is the culter that came off and the the shaft through the hub just welds to these arms so it broke off and I could tell that wasn't the factory weld when I looked at the others and I am a self and YouTube trained welder at best but I burned this back in there ground it down smooth and cleaned up and welded it on and uh, it stayed on for 20 acres first time it only stayed on for four acres so hopefully it holds till I'm done with it we'll see Looks like I've got some tacos coming my way. Hey, buddy!
What you got? Is that Taco Bell? Yeah? Thank you. Hello. Can you turn it off so I don't be scared? Because I'm a little scared. Oh, I'll leave it on. You want me to go back with you? I can go back with you. I'm not going to move it. Hey, Andrew. Bye. Oh, he's got a drink, too. I'll go get the drink. I didn't know that. I didn't know you had a drink. I want you to get out. Oh. Sorry. Hey. Love ya. Decided to come home before I moved up north for the last four fields. Just got pretty nasty outside. Into the storm. Still raining a bit. We get this sunset on the back side of the storm. So that nasty wind we got last night, that brought a whole tenth of an inch of rain. It had uh, quite a light and sound show, but really didn't get any rain out of it. I don't think it even rained at all up here, and I'm as far north as we go on our sandiest farm, so I don't think I'm going to have any trouble finishing this job up today. This applicator can get emptied out, come off this tractor, and this tractor can go on the planter, and we can kind of wait out see what conditions are going to be hopefully we get some really nice planting conditions this year the deer always beat this same path from one woods to the other got it worn down pretty good this year so that's what we're doing i think i got 10 fields to do this year uh be done today it's only been doing this for two days before a little less than that so it takes me three four days to do this depending on where the fields are and how many corn fields we have we don't have so many this year because we got several of our bigger fields in corn this year so this will be a fairly quick process and barring anything unforeseen i'll be done here shortly last fill hopefully here we go